What is going on guys? Welcome back to Legit Vlogs. My name is Tim and today I'm coming at you guys as just Tim instead of like this entertainer, Tim the actor type of person that I usually am. Today is going to be kind of different because it's going to be kind of like a type of advice video and the last time I shot an advice video was right before back to school and it was kind of giving you guys tips and ideas on you know how to go back to school and you know how to incorporate the way you dress into back to school and you guys seem to have loved it. You guys seem to have showed lots of love. So today guys I feel like it is a great opportunity to connect with my subscribers is for you guys to get to know me as a person and not the entertainer crazy person that I usually am coming off of my videos. If you guys like this style better, let me know. But, uh, you know, I always try to make these videos as entertaining for you guys as usual. So that's why I'm usually like real loud and yelling and I try to add a lot of entertainment value to these videos. But if you guys like the real me um, instead, then we could just kind of do that instead and maybe, I don't know, make a skit channel to entertain myself. But... Today's video topic, I have a feeling uh, like 85% of you guys are gonna enjoy it. 85% of my subscribers are guys. And even if you are not a guy, I feel like you're gonna find this video kind of like interesting and entertaining because it is coming straight out of my thoughts into you guys. So basically, last night I did a poll on Twitter and I said, what should I do a story time on? And the four options were one, girls, two, uh, success and like money and stuff like that, three, clothing and sneakers and for gaming and you know sneakers and gaming were tied at like I don't know like it was like 15% each and then like it was like the the success thing you guys probably a lot of you guys don't really care about that I guess because you're still in like middle school or high school but we got like 50% of y'all that wanted me to talk about girls. Girls! And that's like a super important thing, especially at the age of a lot of you guys. Now, I know I got a lot of older viewers out there, a lot of y'all older cats. Um, you might find this video interesting as well because you might have some things to agree with me on. You might have some things to disagree with me on. So, put it down in the comments down below if maybe you want to add some more advice to these younger generation millennials. I'm a millennial, but I feel like I'm already getting older. So, like, you guys are like super millennial. But, anyways, guys. Um, today's topic is going to be about girls. Now, as you are in middle school, girls is one of the things that you think about all the time and trying to get to know my subscribers better. I have like 85% of you are dudes. And so most of you guys are still in middle school, maybe even beginning high school. So this is gonna go out to a lot of you guys um, and it's gonna make sense. And so trying to get to know my subscribers, I was thinking, what are my subscribers like? Because I wanna try to make more videos for you guys that you guys enjoy. One of those things being style, fashion, which is understandable because I cared about that a lot. Two, being video gaming, because because, you know, when I was that age, I was super crazy about video gaming. I am still am crazy about gaming. I can't wait for that Xbox X to come out in December. And three, girls. Like, girls, bruh. Girls. Now, there's a lot of things that we can talk about when it comes to girls. But I feel like one of the biggest things into, like, pulling girls and, you know, trying to get yourself a girlfriend, especially at the age that you are at, you gotta, you know... Keep in mind about what you are wearing now, especially, you know, at the age that you guys are at, you guys care a lot about dressing, you guys want to be the freshest, you guys want to be the coolest, you guys also want to look the best. So I'm here to help you guys look the best. Now, I'm no fashion style guru, but I have a little bit of, you know, knowledge from my days back in middle school and high school. So if you guys are of that age, stay tuned to listen. And if you're not, hey, still listen, because I feel like it's going to be good advice. You know, maybe you're still single, you know, living in mom's basement. That's cool. I mean, Dungeons and Dragons is, is you know, is, 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 you can win money from that. Maybe, somehow. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, so first thing, you know, keep in mind about, you know, fashion and style and dressing is that women, ladies, girls in your case, are looking at you gentlemen and seeing who is the best looking guy here. Who do I want to make my man? And so... <laughs> I feel so weird talking about this because I'm thinking about little girls like and you guys are like younger than me So I'm just it's, it, like, I don't know. I'm already gonna be 20 years old But anyways back when I was that age, you know My theory was I wanted to be the loudest person in my school So I would wear all red shirts you would have like uh, army tags I would have you know high top kicks I would be wearing all white skinny jeans and I'd be wearing like a snapback on my pants and see a lot of girls, you know, see that as he's too much. And the one thing that you got to keep in mind, the number one thing that you got to keep in mind as you watch this video is every single girl is different. I want you guys to remember that every girl is different. So it doesn't matter what I say. If the girl that you like is, does not agree with anything that I say, then then you need to, you know, please her because every girl is different because some of the things that I'm going to say that I grew up like this and the girls that I was around were like this, but probably and possibly in the city or state or even country that you guys are in, 
they might not be the same. So I'm trying to give a like basic generic advice as I can, but still, that's the number one thing to remember is you don't want to completely copy me step by step, add your own flavor to it, you know, see who you like and see what they like as well. So going back to style, back in middle school and high school, I wanted to be the freshest kid. I wanted to be the cool kid, right? And so let's begin with streetwear. So when you're putting on streetwear, you're wearing Supreme, you're wearing Bape, you're wearing, you know, loud brands, young and reckless, you know, all that kind of stuff, high top kicks. It's really cool for the dudes, right? And it's really cool because the guys are gonna be the ones that are gonna be like, oh my gosh, he's wearing the Air Jordan 6 Retros. Oh, no way, he's got on the Yeezy 750 chocolate, blah, 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 blah. But in a female's perspective, they're gonna look at that like, oh, this guy is trying to be Mr. Cool. Uh, I'm not sure if I want that type of dude, you know what I mean? Like, if you're too loud, sometimes the girls might want to pull away. And see, that was one of my biggest problems in school is that I was the guy that was loud. I was super duper loud with my style and my fits. And I didn't know how to style it up to where I would catch a female's attention. I would catch their attention, but it was kind of like the bad attention because they were like, this guy is trying too hard to get attention. And you know, when it comes to streetwear, Jordans, and all that good stuff, it is great, it is wonderful, and I love, love, love dressing like that. But not all girls like dressing like that. And just to be bluntly honest with you guys, the girls that I'm around or the girls that I've seen growing up or the girls that I know aren't attracted to that, however guys are. So it's kind of like sometimes when you have the freshest kicks, it's kind of weird because it's kind of weird thinking, but it's kind of like you're impressing the guys when you should be impressing the girls. You're trying to spend hundreds of dollars on sneakers to impress dudes when you should be impressing the ladies. And like I said before, if there are ladies out there that like Jordans, I do not want to offend you because I think that is super dope. I think that is super cool. But the majority of girls that I've been around haven't really been super attracted to guys that wear Jordans. No, let me tell you fellas that majority of girls like a guy who is well-groomed, wearing a button-up shirt, wearing probably something like Sperry Topsiders. I know, boring, right? But let me tell you guys that when I was dressing like that, when I was wearing button-ups and polos and cuffing my jeans and wearing, you know, Sperry's and, and, and just, you know, dressing up more classy, that is when I found myself attracting more women. But it, at the same time, it was like, the guys were kind of like, oh, you know, that's cool. But if I were to step out in a pair of J's, it would be like, yo, Tim is fresh. Bro, have you seen the new Jordans? So it's kind of like you have to almost keep a balance within the two. You can't dress up too classy because, I mean, you're going to get all the females, but you don't want to just have all female friends because that can, you know, make you look bad too. But you don't only want to just be wearing J's and Supreme and Bape because then the females are going to be like, this guy is just trying to attract dudes' attention. So I feel like you got to have a mix. And there are brands out there that can have a mix. For instance, this Guess shirt right here. Now, Guess is a brand that I like because Guess can, you know, represent that streetwear culture such as this shirt right here I feel like can but it can also be nice and classy so you can almost style guests with both you know what I'm saying so Beth's cooking in the kitchen right and she just said I feel like girls are now attracted to Yeezys I feel like girls are attracted to Yeezys because you got to remember that I'm telling you guys something you know that just has changed throughout you know the times fam it is different. So now I feel like if a girl were to see you in a pair of Yeezys, she'd be like, oh, you have Yeezys. Can I get Yeezys? Can I get Yeezys? But I don't know, man. I'm just giving you my advice. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to dress up too loud because it will kind of pull away the ladies. It'll pull the dudes, man. But you probably don't want to pull the dudes. You probably want to pull the ladies unless you do. But if you want to pull more ladies, I'm telling you guys, y'all got to groom yourselves. You got to do your hair, you gotta get a nice haircut. And I'm not talking about a fresh haircut, I'm talking about a nice haircut. There's a difference between a fresh haircut that the dudes are gonna be, yo, your hair is dope, dog. And there's a difference between the girls who are like, that guy has a amazing haircut, he is so cute, blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, it's just a difference within style, fam. You need to be the type of dude that can do both. So that way you don't not only impress the dudes with your fresh J stepping out, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing. I'm wearing these right here, you know what I'm saying, 13s, 
pretty, pretty sweet, but Beth doesn't seem to, you know, like them as, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, she likes them, but it's not like she doesn't, you know, she wouldn't prefer me to wear Jordan. She would prefer me to wear something like loafers or something, but that ain't my style. It's not my style. So the funny thing is, is that she's not going to change who I am, but the most time in my life ever, because Beth, you know, Beth, you know, had her eye on me for a long time, but the time of my life when Beth had really, really been attracted to me was when I changed my style up to uh, polos and, and, and dressy shirts and, and loafers and, and cuff jeans. But then when we got married, I took that side hook at her and I said, girl, forget this clothes. I'm going back to my streetwear. But at the same time, you still have to have a balance because you don't want to be wearing streetwear on date night. I mean, unless you're into it, I would do it. But I know that Beth probably would want me to wear a nice button up shirt. So anyways, this has been the talking hour of the vlog now how about we go show you guys some examples at the mall so that way you guys can actually put a thought and an image to what I'm saying so without further ado legit nation let's hop over the mall so I can show you guys how you can attract ladies. Works 99% of the time, let's go. Okay, so now we're here at the mall and I wanna give you guys a first hand perspective on what to wear and what not to wear. Now some of the shirts that I'm gonna show you are gonna be really cool, but might be a little bit too loud for a girl. And then we're gonna go over to the more classier side and see a different look at things. So let's go to more of the loud stuff first. So first of all, we're gonna start off at Paxson because it's a great place to see a lot of loud t-shirts. That's where I used to buy a lot of my t-shirts. Like this one was bought at Paxson to be honest in, in California. Yeah. Bones. Hold on, wait, you don't have to vlog this. This is separate. All right, so change of plans. We're in Shoe Palace. This shoe is super dope, but it's also really, really loud. So the dudes are going to notice your shoes on your feet, like super fresh. But it might not go so well with the ladies, so think about that. So see, now this stuff is pretty good, you know what I mean? A regular gray shirt with the Adidas logo, that's pretty nice. You know, for the ladies, they're going to like that. Um, This one's pretty nice as well. Um, this one's a little bit loud just because it's kind of like a jersey type of material, but you guys, I mean, you can kind of see the difference. Um, something like this might be a little too loud, but the dudes are gonna love your fresh J's though. So you gotta remember, a lot of the ladies want more of the classier look, the classier feel, more like a man, and the dudes love looking fresh. I love looking fresh. Say what you just told me right now. I told you a lot of, I mean, I would be fine if you wore it like this. Uh -huh. And like I don't see it as a problem like if you wear it with your Yeezys yeah. But I usually don't see you in a button up But she, if I was wearing a button up she would go crazy though I would go crazy She would go but crazy it's because I'm so used to wearing streetwear Yeah exactly But she's fine with it but she prefers a button up right? Yes exactly. To look nice That's what I mean So I'm getting a little bit distracted by these foams These are so dope I actually really really like these These are fire boy These are fire I love gold shoes you guys know that They're not as comfortable, but they're super hot, man. All right, so I just saw these guys. I know this is completely distracting from the video, but shout out to Shoe Palace, man, down here at River Center. Real good customer service, real cool guys. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Do you like these or? I think they look nice. They I look mean, nice with those black jeans. Look at that. They're pretty fresh, they're pretty fire. Okay, now back on track, let's go to Paxson and do this real thing this time. Okay, boom, prime example right here of a loud t-shirt. Diamond Supply, super, super duper loud. I'm not saying it's not now nice, it's just super loud. Um, Something like this, super duper loud. I'm not saying it's not nice, it's just super loud. Like, I mean, if you want to impress the ladies, this kind of isn't the way to go. It's like really loud shirts, they're really cool. One I really not to impress the ladies. <laughs> I really like these shirts, but it's not a ideal way to impress ladies. So yeah, I mean all these shirts are cool. Don't get me wrong Like all these shirts are really cool, but let's go ahead and show you guys how you can impress a lady So there's a huge sale at Paxson, right? And Beth said that these are girl approved a little bit more classy a little bit more You know not as loud. So I feel like a girl would like something like this now this, this is a store that the ladies will love your outfits from but I wouldn't buy anything from here personally <laughs> <laughs> Boom, real like classy jeans, real like nice jeans, but boring jeans, you know what I mean? Nice fitted. Nice fitted jeans, not like packs on joggers. This is something that a lady would like, but as you can see, it's just like dressy stuff. It's like really boring. It's really boring. So you guys get the point. I mean, just regular, nice, dressy, boring shirts. Just like the ladies love it, but the guys just... It's not fresh. It's it's not fresh. So if you're gonna go on a date, this might be something that you're gonna wear. Maybe you once in a while when you want to look good for her, but I don't like this stuff. I don't like it. 
But next I'm gonna show you guys a store that you can go both. Come to a store that can offer you both. Something that the guys will really like, something that the girls will really like. You can either dress up or dress down for a very, very great price. H&M, come on guys, let me show you some stuff. <laughs> So while H&M does offer the weekend collection, which is super dope by the way, they also offer something like right here, Chelsea boots, something that is very classy that will attract the ladies major. And they're only $50, so super steal. They have something like this, which is really, really loud, but also looks super dope. Justin Bieber merch tour that is like super loud. You know what I mean? It's super cool, joggers and everything. But at the same time, you can come over to this side and you can have a very, very nice piece for when you're ready to impress that special girl. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was kind of like an advice video. It wasn't like one of my normal entertaining videos, but if you guys do like this video and if you do want some more, you know, how-to videos or more advice videos, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I think it was a great day. I think it was awesome. And um, I really make sure hope the advice works. Yeah, I really hope sure. it works for you. Um, but you know, overall guys, the number one thing to pull girls with their style is just your confidence and who you are as a person. It doesn't matter. You could be wearing the most expensive thousands of dollars outfit. And if you don't have the right personality, nobody is going to want to talk to you. If you're snobby about it, you know, if you're an ugly person, nobody's going to want to talk to you. Be confident, be loving, be caring, and girls will just flock to you. It doesn't matter what you're wearing, right? Yep. Exactly, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Today's social media shout out goes to Bear underscore 301. Bear, thank you for being so active on my Twitter. Always showing love, always showing support. Guys, to get a shout out, make sure you go follow me on all social media and show some love. Today's word of the day comes from Revelations 2220. It says, who, he who testifies to these things says, surely I am coming soon. Amen, come, Lord Jesus. Guys, this verse is just awesome. It's just beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Yo, Evan, Evan, come through. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys have a very blessed day. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here.